Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Reviews. You know, I thought I'd do a review of my truck. You know, I um, did a review of my 300 um, a little bit ago. Um, I haven't had a chance to give you guys updates. You know, a lot of stuff going on out here in the, in the United States, but it's all good. I'm going to talk about my truck. Again, this is Jay Reviews. Um, I had a YouTube channel before. I was doing a lot of shoe reviews. I had a dispute with Nike, so it is what it is. They still the homies. Um, but anyway, um, I thought I'd just give you a little review of my 1995 GMC Yukon. You know, um, it's a work in progress. Not too long ago, got it. It's a two-door. The, the thing is, you know, I love these trucks, right? Um, but... You know, back in the 90s, they had a lot of issues with rust. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rust issues or what have you. You know, mine got a little bit where the body bushes in the back. If I can, I'll show it to you when I get a chance. But let's do a little review about this thing. I'm going to show you all around. It's, it's, it's as is. It's dirty as hell. It's storage for I got a bunch of crap in here because when I bought it, I just completely just threw everything in here. So this is the interior. Kind of. Kind of a little rough, you know, with the, you know, headliner a little bit. With the mirrors here, drop down, you know. Got this little extra stuff. When I redo the interior, I'm going to redo all that. I'm going to go all black, probably suede up there with some dark charcoal or something like that. You know, got the 90s joint. I think 95 was the first year they really went to this type of interior, you know, to like 99 or, you know, 2000, one or the other. Yeah, but... You know, missing the cover right there for the door handle. You know, all of that's going to get replaced. Seats, I'm just going to get them all new seats. So I thought I'd just give a complete overview of it, man. As is, man, ain't no, no shiny armor, none of that. You know, you just see what it is back, you know. Headliner don't look too bad, but, you know, I'm going to replace the whole thing anyway. You know, the whole seats, all the seats all the way around. I'm going probably all black interior. All black. What you see there, you see that's missing the cover there off the dash because I had some electrical issues. So me, I had went and redid, you know, the the electrical or whatever. I couldn't find it, so I was all in the dash. You could tell up under the steering wheel. Let me get out here. As you could tell with the then well, I had to even take the cover out there. It ain't pop, nothing like that. Ain't no wires cut, nothing like that. I still got the keys, you know. But yeah, so I had to go in there and do the wires, or whatever. But this is the interior. Seats is trash, atrocious, man. You know, 25 years, 250 thousand miles on it. You know what I mean? You show y'all the motor of that TPI 350. I'm gonna redo all that. I'll probably just do a high rise intake, throttle body, new uh new fuel injection system, but two door Yukon, 1995, you feel me? Got the little Chevy, like 2000 Chevy uh Tahoe wheels on it. I'm gonna redo all that, get a whole new back gate. Yes, they had the trailer hitch hole, trailer little thing on there. Let me show y'all where this bushing, I'm having the body bushings that they damaged on, right? So you can see, right, all this is just toe up. Look at that shit, man. That is crazy. You feel me? Look at the body, the whole body bushing. It moves, right? So I had to put a two by four right here. They lifted the body up so it could sit right there on that leaf spring. But see, this whole piece right here could be cut out once we take that trailer, this whole little trailer piece off here that holds the trailer together. And you could tell where I had to have my uh, gas, gas tank was leaning when I bought it. So I had to put a new fuel pump in there. And my boy put um, some uh, metal ties there just to keep it up from moving. But I'm going to get all that taken care of when I get that back in done. I want to show y'all, 
these bushings, these these body bushes, man. That 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 man, that had your back. That's when you go over a bump and get the rock and get the get the rock and what have you. So yeah, I'm gonna get that taken care, get the, all that cut out. Cause at first I'm like, oh man, I try to find another one, but man, these things so hard to call by, and I got this for a really really good deal. So the motor runs, everything runs good. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna start it up here in a minute and let y'all see how it run. But whole new gate that ain't nothing but when i got it, it was matte black somebody did a really good job look like they painted it with just spray paint body don't look bad got some rust on the panels here ain't too bad as fixed get all that fixed man it ain't nothing you know Groovy mirror trash when i got a dude say he had a wooden fence Trashed it. Tahoe wheels. Ain't too bad right there, but that door. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once I take it to the body, get all that done. I had washed it so the matte black came off a little bit. You know, actually I got some more paint, but I was like, well, let me just wait. I go over a little brush. Let me see. I think I still got it. To be honest with you. Ah, oh, here it is. Let's see something real quick. So what I'm gonna do is this. I just wanna try it out. You can't hurt nothing, I guess, right? Just wanna see how it look. This little body. I ain't worried about this. Body like that. Yeah, look at that. Let's take a little bit of it off. A little back on there. I mean, it's cool. But I'll probably go over it in a minute. Check out this uh, motor real quick. TPI system. I should take that off and do that too, but I'm going too much fool with it right now. I did have to change the, the thermostat and re do the wires because I have some electrical issue. I got a little water down there. Just get another donut gasket for the for the hose. But I ain't losing too much water yet, so I ain't worried about it. And she is a 350 TPI, man. Let me start her let, let y'all see her run for the most part. Got a little body. These rust out pretty bad, man, in the 90s, man. So I said, well, I mean, that's a lot. It's, it, it could get done. I'm going to come with, with a whole new, uh, they got like shield that we can redo and get that done. I got over at the body shop, man, and uh, I'm going to holler at them. Another thing on the holler at y'all, y'all about to see something real crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. You probably wondering like, damn, where you feel to? Man, it's a long story. Just because I showed y'all earlier that leaf spring, how it had broke off, you know, from the body actually. We had to put that uh two by four on there. I had to have it in there. It's, it came through the floor. Came through the floor up underneath. So I had to I got a feel in the back. You know, once I drop that down, I got a feel. It's crazy. I'm gonna show y'all so y'all can see before I start the motor. It's funny. It's crazy. I never seen nothing like it. I said, wow. That's why I wanted to get another one, but I was like, well, if I could uh, get this fixed, it's cool. Cause I, I pay, I got it for a break now. Now you might ask, where am I filling the gas at? Watch this. Show y'all something. <laughs> Remember, look, they got a two by four. Look at the field tube right there. So I got to jot this down and put the pump in there at the gas tank, at the gas station. So I just fill that out so no fumes or nothing get in here and just cover it up. You see that right there? I had, it looked like where somebody tried to run duels straight back, but, you know, I end up, you know, putting them back there to have my boy just put it out for me, but it's a work in progress. <laughs>
still works. Like I said, you know, I'm get all this done, interior, everything, body, you know, a little work in progress. I'm gonna constantly check my work so y'all can see my upgrades or whatever. Came with a little flip out, you know, a little came with a little TV, whatever. Let's start her up. Like I said, I got some work to do. I'm going to try to keep updates on everything I do. All of my new things. So, it'll be a work in progress. Y'all can follow me on this journey, man. You know, for those who like those two-door Tahoes, two-door Yukons. The glass look good. Look at that. I mean, she got a lot of potential, man. A couple little rust spots, like I said, right up under here. They're going to have to take that bumper off. Cut that whole piece up out of there and redo it. Out where those body bushings are. Glass look good. Yeah, look at that pretty face. <laughs> Getting that off, taking all them badges off. I like that matte black, but I think what I'm gonna do is I probably go all black bowling ball for real. The bat look good though. Look like it was blue. Probably went over it. So again, like I said, like this alternator ain't that old. Like they replaced that before, but TP, TPI, throttle body system, I'm gonna go with a fuel injected EFI, something like that, and run an MSD or something like that on it. Got some work, master cylinder. Boy, that thing rusty, look at that. Look at that housing, that thing rusty. Yeah, it's all good, we're gonna fix all that. Yeah, I ain't gonna do no swallows thing about it. I said, man, it's 350. She got a lot of life in her left. Keep it running good. You know, fluids, things like that. Upgrade some systems with it. Probably put a cam 268 or something, some mile, high rise intake. Probably go Holly or Elder Brock or something. We'll figure it out. You know, if y'all know any thing uh what y'all like to see man just drop the comments man and you know y'all could build this thing with me give me some heads up on everything what y'all thinking well, i'm still here you know what i might as well go ahead and just see what it look like with some paint and put that back on there i like to have it upside down to be honest with you i can get it in there there it go Go. So what I'm gonna do is turn my paint legs and fell over. See right here. It's kind of colored a little bit. It's like that. You don't. Just a little bit, just kind of go back over a little bit. Where I uh, washed it in. Look at that. Just a little bit. I ain't worried about it, just paint all on it. Just a little bit. <laughs> just have fun with it, why not? Look at 
I just wanted to wash it the one day. That's all I'm do. Just gonna hit it just a little bit, man. Just take some of that off, just a little bit. That white, get through the chip it through the paint. Yeah, I finished that up in a minute, just darken it up again. But, uh, door jams, too. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give y'all an overview of what I just cop. You know, um, I'm going to put that back on there. But I was like, ah, forget it. I'm gonna take my time and get that together. She work in progress, but like I said, man, um, you know, I wasn't trying to show you nothing pretty on this one. Just show you straight raw. Monster truck, baby, you feel me? She a beast too. So, y'all stay tuned, man, and um, you know, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on my progress and any issues that come arise. Let me know what you think, what I should add, ideas, you know. I want to go all black interior, black outside. Lift her about six or nine. Probably put some 33s, probably 26 inches by 15 on 33s or something. We'll figure it out. So, so let me know what you think, man. I'm out of here.